Hey, how y'all doing out there today? Uh, listen, I I really have been trying my best to, to stay out of politics, especially with this puppet show, how just trashy and unusual, uh, and I mean unusual in a way that just unreal, surreal. It's like watching a wrestling match. It's like watching them wrestling back in the day. Uh, like I said before, I think that's why they have Linda McMahon in there working working for Trump. Uh, she's doing entertainment. So I ask, like I always do, are you entertained? Because <laughs> this is entertainment. But I, I don't. This entertainment is kind of a slap in my face. Because before I get started about Hillary Clinton, I wanna I wanna say something about just myself. I'm I'm, I'm a former sailor. I served between 81 and 83 in the United States Navy. Okay, big deal. A lot of, a lot of us served. No big deal. But look at what time period that was, y'all. <laughs> okay. It was the Cold War. This man was like number three or number four on the hit list. He was my number three or number four enemy. He was a master counterintelligence. He kept our heads spinning. And I worked counterintelligence on the, uh, on the, on the United States Carl Vincent. Uh, CBN six uh, seven and we um, our group was always worried about these that his one particular group he he made lieutenant colonel I believe in eighty five but how do you where do you think he made his bones he started in seventy five this guy is born and bred KGB full Russian patriot full Soviet patriot y'all so Putin ain't no joke and um a United States president sitting beside him especially with all the issues going on with China and the wars in Syria and everything going on and decide with them over our own intelligence, our own senators, your own, your own government that you claim you, you support and you elect is pretty anti-American. I thought and, and foolish kind of, kind of making it look like uh, to the world that he was in bed with them. But, but what do we hear? We hear something about Hillary Clinton. So I want to clear the air about Hillary Clinton. So I hope all you trumpets are listening, and I hope you're paying attention. Cause this is a, this, I shouldn't even have to say this because I've been saying it for almost two decades now about Hillary Clinton. She is a daughter of the Illuminati. She is in bed with the New World Order like you would not believe. Hillary Clinton is an advisor to the Bilderbergers on top of being CFR, Council on Foreign Relations. She wasn't Secretary of State for, for no reason, y'all. That's a stronger position than the president. Uh, at some in some points, like making deals, wheels and deals behind the deals, uh, behind the scenes deals. Uh, look at what Rex Tillerson just did for big oil uh, and, and helped uh, Trump just sell us out to China. Hillary Clinton is a crook. Um, I've been telling y'all this when she was when she was the first lady and pulling Bill Clinton strings on a lot of things. Why do you think when this woman, this daughter of the Illuminati, this new world order princess, why do you think? When they was getting Nixon, they even let her little young ass in that that big legal group. So yeah, big deal. Hello, breaking news. Hillary Clinton is a crook. Hillary Clinton is New World Order Illuminati. Hillary Clinton is a globalist builder burger. Wow, welcome to the New World Order. Now, in saying that, and maybe somebody, one of you should go arrest her and 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 Take her to, to, the, to the police and, and say, arrest this woman for being a traitor, because she is. Now, have we cleared the air on Hillary Clinton? Because I'm going to tell you something about Hillary Clinton that, that I, I think a lot of you forgot, especially you trumpets. She's not president. She has behind the scenes powers. Uh, she is still hooked up with all her New World Order people. She's probably pulling Trump's strings. But we can always come back to this deflecting. This is what we were telling you trumpets a couple of years ago, and this is what I'm going to tell you today. Quit deflecting from what your man is doing because you're letting down your fellow citizen. You're letting down your country by having any enemy, foreign or domestic, sell or take over our country. And it looks like Trump is doing that. Matter of fact, it don't look like he's doing it. He is doing it. He only has Scott Pruitt in there to take away the laws of the EPA to make us sellable. He had Rex Tillerson out there selling us to countries like Russia, who, had, had, matter of fact, Tillerson had just made a three hundred billion dollar deal with Russia to frack for Exxon Mobil to frack the Arctic, which is going to be bad news for, for the whole world when they start that shit. That's a third of a trillion dollar deal, and all of a sudden he's Secretary of State. Where did he spend a lot of his time bullshitting around with Russia? He laid the groundwork for big oil. Trump is, is a what was Trump before he was president, y'all? 
What was let me let me just get this clear. What was Donald Trump before he was president besides being a millionaire playboy piece of shit that's been handed everything to him on a silver sweater? He's a real estate agent. All right. He, he does real estate, right? Big real estate deals. He goes and builds Bill Tower way over in Dubai, all around the world. Big, 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 big real estate man. What better place to have as president when you're selling your old country? He's he's selling us out. He, it, look at West Virginia. We were sold to the, the Chinese for 80 big, $84 billion. That, that's something y'all said that, that Hillary Clinton would have done. We bombed Syria uh, for, for no reason. That was another thing y'all said Hillary Clinton was going to do. Donald Trump said he was going to get rid of that Russian steel for the pipeline and use American steel. But not only did he use the Russian steel to, to finish a Canadian pipeline, he bought more of it. He didn't use American workers for it. And now he took that, that land in Utah, the, the, the state park. He said, we're going to save money and, not, and the federal government we're going to take care of. He's leased it out to the Canadians and the Russians to mine uranium. So we got Russian steel bringing Canadian shale oil and, and toxic tar sands oil spilling all over our country. And this is what your man has done, but we're going to worry about Hillary Clinton. We're going to worry about Hillary Clinton. This is something you said she was going to do, right? Hillary Clinton was big oil. Hillary Clinton was in the Uranium One deal with Canada and Russia and all of them. Hillary Clinton was, no, you're deflecting from the fact that your man's actions prove that he is a traitor to the United States of America. He is not going to make America great. He's going to put America on the selling block and sell us piece by piece. My state has been sold. Your state has probably been sold and you don't know it. Uh, all of our national parks are being leased to Chinese, Russian and Canadian interests like you don't believe. China runs off coal seam gas. Russia and America will be the last two superpowers to run off oil and natural gas. You just watch this happen. Now, why do you think he's over there making billion dollar deals, hundreds of billion dollar deals, a third of a trillion dollar deal uh, with his a former secretary of state being an Exxon Mobil, making deals with them to frack the Antarctic for what? CSG, not for oil, not for not drilling for oil, not drilling for natural gas. No. Y'all haven't looked at those population statistics. Also, have you not in the Deagle report? I ask you to look at that. It ain't just that our population uh, decreases. The BRICS nations, the four major BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, and China, become the top four countries in the world, with Japan being number four. Uh, in the top five, Brazil being number five, U.S. goes to number six. We we this is just seven years away, y'all. But what are those nations? I've told you this before. The BRICS nations. Anything that Putin does, anything that Russia does, China's going to benefit from it because it's their ally. They are thicker than thieves now. They are like the United States, the U.K., Germany, and France. You see what I'm saying? That alliance drops down. They, they're not in the top five no more. Germany and France drop out of the top five. The United States drops out of the top five. And the UK, which was number six, drops way out. It's nothing anymore. The colonial country rule is over. The BRICS nation rule is coming. And the man sitting out there uh, getting the last of you, the last of you just to play in the game, doing the puppet show, doing the song and dance. Hey, America, Putin's okay. Hey, America, I love you. Make us great. Make us great. Hillary, stop. 30-something emails. 30-something thousand emails. Get her. Get her. Y'all some chunks, man. And it's sad because this ain't just a change of power. Our, our planet is changing. They have us bickering with each other for, for more reasons than you know. It's easier to starve out millions of people that are divided that would kill them, kill each other so the governments, the new world order ain't even got to kill you. Half of y'all to kill the other half. That's what they got. And that's what they're pushing. And that's what's coming. And I'm sorry it's that way, so we got to be smart. So I'm going to ask you Trumpets, you Trump supporters, my brothers and sisters, by the way, fellow human beings of this planet that seem to be thinking that this man is doing you something, and I want you to look at his actions. I want you to get unbiased for a minute. I want you to take your head out your ass and your lips off of his ass. I want you to use your real eyes and your real common sense that conservatives used to have. For one, this man ain't conservative and he ain't Republican. You goddamn well know it. You know he's in the world order. You know you don't like seeing him kissing the Saudis' ass over some glowing bowl like some 
some new world order picture right there. That looked weird, didn't it? Over there licking the Saudi's ass. Then he's licking King Bibi's ass over there in Israel. This man's licking just as much ass as Obama. And when Obama was licking ass, you people were getting mad as fuck. Why ain't you mad as fuck now? He just kissed this Russian president's ass. And from a, a, a former sailor that served during the Cold War, fuck you, Trump. You ever kiss a Russian's ass in front of me, I slap your face. I spit right in your face, fucking traitor. Y'all got to remember that. that you put us, us men into these wars, and we fight some of these real enemies. Where well, these superpower enemies were real. It wasn't Vietnamese little man in the jungle that was real. It was the Chinese government and the Russian government that was real. You see what I'm getting at? It's not the Afghanistan rebel or the Iraqi terrorist or the Syrian rebel and all these people you're thinking of. It's fucking Russians and Chinese and Americans going around stirring the pot for all these little countries you think are doing something. Or they're not. Russia is our enemy. China is our enemy. They would bring us down in a heartbeat just for the way we've treated them over the last 50 years. Ever since we stuck it in their face after World War II and stuck it in their ass and we decided to be the boss. Why don't you ever think Russia's our buddy? And don't you ever think Putin's going to turn around and bend over for Trump? And you think Trump's playing Putin? I heard uh, an old, old boy from down, down in Georgia. I, I'm going to leave his name off here because I actually respect him because he's a good man. But he is so brainwashed that he said Putin was, or Trump is playing Putin on the world stage. That all this really ain't going on. That Trump really don't believe none of this. He's just playing Putin. Who's playing who? Who's playing who? Did you look at the look on on uh, Trump's face when him and Putin were sitting up there in front of the world stage? He looked lost. He looked like a lost kid at Six Flags, couldn't find his mama. And y'all, y'all can't even read body language. It don't matter. It don't matter what you can read. I want you to quit deflecting to Hillary Clinton, the crook, or Obama, the new world order president. We already know this, but they are no longer in power. Whether you think they're behind the scenes or in the shadow government, Hillary Clinton is. Why you think they ain't never going to get her? But why the idiot, why your idiot, Donald Trump, before anybody knew anything about emails, he's out there slapping off at the mouth with his big Twitter trolling mouth about how I hope Putin shows him 30,000 emails, blah, blah, blah. He, gave, he let the cat out of the bag a long time ago. What, you didn't, you didn't think that these people were going to put all this together and see what an idiot was? Hey, he sold a fucking worthless property, a, a property that was worthless at the time for $100 million to some Russians. He's in bed with a bunch of rich Russians way before he ran for president. Hell, they, they, listen, let me tell you something else about Vladimir Putin. By the way, you know what Lenin's first name was, don't you? And you know where Putin's from, right? He's from Leningrad, and, and Vladimir Lenin was the first uh, communist dictator of uh, Russia, and uh, the, the one held the most high, and then you got Stalin next. That's, that's, his, that's who Putin is. That's who he was just brainwashed into, like some of these nationalists here in America. Y'all complain about them. But Putin is a brilliant KGB agent, and he came up with an idea of using those women that were in that one free country uh, right there where, where uh, Millennia, Millennia Trump was born. She fits the age group in the area, in the region where they got these women. They get about 10, 12 years old. Beautiful Eastern European Soviet black women, former. But this was, they, she actually came from a, a, a country that was supposed to be one little free country and all this. But it was a haven for spies back during the Cold War. Well, Putin had this brilliant idea to get these beautiful women train them to be the best wife they could possibly be. And y'all know what I mean. I'm not going to be crude. And, uh, and to have these women just marry off into somebody that's worth $100 million, $200 million, a billion dollars. Because these men are, are, are oligarchs, whatever you want to call them over there. They're, it's everywhere. Rich people could run the world. Hello? Okay, so, uh, well, they marry these Russian women or, or they become their mistresses or whatever. Because they, get, they were trained to get a, a man to talk in the bedroom. Well, now she's in the White House. And if you don't think, because her age group, just her age group and her demographic birth location alone and, and the way that she was looking at Putin and everything, uh, you don't think, I don't think that's one of his girls from back in the day, that she could possibly be a spy in our fucking White House. But now y'all wanted to say Obama was a Muslim and that uh, uh, his wife was a man. Y'all can come up with all this other stuff about everybody else, but you don't want to come up with some real life things that fit. Things that fit. Now, those are assumptions. But the fact is, Trump just sat out there and gave us up to the rest of the world and, and, and grabbed Putin by the hand and then walked off into bromance land. He just dropped his country. Any leader would have said, hey, man, uh, 
you know, hey, we're still looking into that, or he would have blew it off, never said, no, nah, man, this man's just right. Our enemy for the last 50, 60 years is right. Ronald Reagan rolling around in his grave. Ronald Reagan rolling around in his grave, because that sucker thought he ended the, the Cold War. <laughs> so the Union never went away, y'all. Let me ask you a question. If the United, if you ever thought that the United, you woke up one morning and you read the headline on the paper, you're like, hey, look at this. wow, man, we just, um, uh, we just lost a war to China. I didn't even know we were in. Now, now we're Chinese. Uh, we're not. We're no longer the United States of America. We're just North American continent. Uh, uh, now I'm not a citizen of the United States. I'm a citizen of North America. Um, would you give up being a patriot? Would you Would you give up being a United States citizen? Would you give up, you know, all your history and everything that you got, all the stuff we all fought and died for? Would you quit being American? Did you think them people quit being Soviet? Them brainwashed some bitches like Putin, one of the biggest baddest spies of all time, y'all. Master of counterintelligence. This man's running the country. Oh, by the way, isn't it quite funny? The last time that a master of intelligence, a head of an intelligence group, the CIA, ran this country, his name was George Bush Sr. And he said the new world order was coming in. And here it is, knocking on your door. It's in the house. And you, and you want to look at it now. When intelligence officers or presidents and of countries, you best be watching your ass. Something behind the scenes going on. Bush Sr. brought this in in 91. 2001, his son allowed it to, to, to shut our country down by law. And here today, 17 years later, almost 17 years later, y'all, um, we're sold out to the Chinese and the Russians. It's over. And you don't see it. But you won't worry about Hillary Clinton. And you won't worry about Barry Obama will worry. <laughs> and why don't you worry about Bill Clinton, too, and throw in Bush Jr. and hell, throw in everybody out there. I think Santa Claus is, is delivering anthrax this year. Dumb son bitches. And Trump said it, you believe it, though. You best look at the facts of what's going on, the actions of this man, and quit deflecting off to bullshit like Clinton or Obama because they're not president. And all that part. So you won that part, and now you're losing because this man is New World Order. He works for these bastards. He is straight up New World Order. And, and if he's owned by Big Oil, look at what's going on with the Big Oil and all the Big Oil execs and former governors that he hired and what they did. Look at my state being sold out. Look at your national parks being leased out to foreign uh, energy companies. And it's all being done with Russian pipelines and uh, Russian steel and Russian money. We're, we're sold out, y'all. But it's Hillary Clinton's fault. <laughs> it can't make this shit up, man. You can't make this shit up. They can. Are you entertained? No, I'm not. But I still like it. Peace. Look at the actions of people, not their words. And by all means, don't live in fear, because that fear has you believe in lies.